Meet Flower. She's the leader of a 29-strong family of meerkats, known as the Whiskers. She's just a foot tall, but she's tough. Anyone who crosses her finds this out the hard way. But Flower has to be a strong leader, because ahead lie terrifying encounters with airborne predators, vicious battles over territory with rival gangs, and a deadly snake attack, which leaves one member of the family fighting for his life. Flower's courageous little gang faces enormous challenges at every turn. She will have her work cut out for her if the extended family is gonna survive what lies in store. Meet the Whiskers. Flower, the leader of the group. Zaphod, her partner. Yosarian, with some social problems. Mozart, the caring one. Tosca, the rebellious one. Courageous little Shakespeare. And the naughty kids. Welcome to Meerkat Manor. Home for the Whiskers gang is three square miles of fiercely defended bush in South Africa's Northern Cape, which is dotted with a series of bolt holes and burrows. <laughs> this group of meerkats has been the subject of a 10-year study by Cambridge University into their daily lives and relationships. Cameras record events at the burrows and a radio collar around Flower's neck helps track their movements. Seven feet below, in the pitch dark, is Flower's latest litter of pups, born just three weeks ago. But it's an anxious time for Flower. Underground, her pups are safe. But once outside, life gets seriously risky. It'll be up to the whole gang to protect the little ones. Flower knows she can rely on the family to do their best, but only time will tell if the pups will survive life in the big wide world. The key player in Flower's royal protection squad is Zaphod, the dominant male and father of the pups. He's bigger than everyone else, and he's a bit of a bruiser. His main job is to mark and defend the Whiskers' territory from rival meerkat gangs. But he also needs to keep a very close eye on Flower. Zaphod is no fool. As he is Flower's first choice when it comes to breeding, he wisely spends a lot of time grooming her, keeping in her good book, and so maximizing his chances of mating. It's early morning, and the Whiskers burrow is buzzing with anticipation. Extra sentries are on duty, scanning the sky for predators, and the whole gang are cleaning and tidying the burrow entrances. Flower's adult son, Shakespeare, a mature and reliable member of the family, is keeping a close eye on some birds of prey. And the reason for all this activity? The big day is finally here, and Flower's pups are coming out to meet the whole family for the first time. Flower won't normally allow other females to breed, so her pups really are the future of the group. But these precious little youngsters have a one in four chance of dying in the first days out of the burrow, so everyone is in a state of high alert. Shakespeare has to give Mitch, one of his scared little brothers, a bit of gentle persuasion. But eventually, all the pups are out, and the family can officially count four new members. With Flower watching closely, the rest of the extended family are anxious to reassure and encourage them. Working mom Flower can't spend all day with her pups. She has to supply milk for them and get herself ready to breed again. 
so she needs to eat. But childcare isn't a problem when you're a meerkat, as both males and females will take their turn babysitting the boss's babies. So while Flower leads the rest of the Whiskers group off to find breakfast, she leaves her pups behind in the capable paws of today's volunteer babysitters. If they're lucky, the whiskers will have insects and small reptiles on the menu, but they're gonna have to work for it. Flower's son Shakespeare seems to know exactly where to dig. Although, like all meerkats, his eyesight up close is not great. He can rely on his brilliant sense of smell to find breakfast. The whiskers were born to dig.